Well, good news. Uh, after finally getting it bled out, uh, and if anyone's curious how that, how you do that, um, you loosen these nuts right here. Uh, so you put a, it's a five eighths inch wrench, and uh, just put it on there, about like so. And as you're cranking, you pull it down and open it up until you see fuel scored out, no bubbles, and you should have basically like squirts come out. Um, then you'll know it's, it's, uh, that one's full, and then you move on to the next one, uh, and then you move on to the last one, and by the time, usually for me, about the time I get this one bled out, now this one's really close, it starts sputtering on about two cylinders, and the third cylinder you can just about crack and then close, and usually it's, it's primed, um, because it'll start, and once it starts, uh, starts to kind of kick over, uh, it bleeds a lot faster, so that third one, you could do it in another order, but so what it was uh, was that that uh, gasket that's uh, underneath that cover uh, looks like it was blocking the weights for the governor. Um, and I'll show you. So I I ended up putting the old one back in. This is what the one looked like. Let's see if it'll focus. Um, and I was kind of nervous putting it back in because it was. It only goes one way. It has to be the orientation of the uh, has to be the orientation of the uh, cover. So it can only go one way. So no matter what, mine's going to stick in. So I actually opted to use the old one, which is a, a very different uh, design. It actually just has two little flaps. It doesn't have all this material here. It's just more of like just an outer gasket. So I, I opted to use that one instead. Uh, it seems like that fixed it, so happy that that's um, sorted out, because I got some work uh, for the old beast to do, so, and got that fixed, and uh, it seemed like it wasn't too bad. I was afraid I was going to have to take the whole pump off, um, like I did before, but um, thankfully I didn't have to do that. So, if anyone else runs into that problem, where basically your uh, governor won't keep the idle down, it just runs away. Uh, and and goes wide open basically. Um, it could be the the governor. It could be that little gasket underneath this cover that's blocking the um, weights of the governor from being able to fling out and push out and push on the the, the clip that pushes the the uh, governor valve back and closes the throttle down. So uh, hopefully that helps somebody. And uh, time to get uh, time to get back to work. So.